Hello students, we are back again on your favorite learning platform, Learn Forward by Feather Cap. Today we are going to study chapter number 2, Livelihood and Source of Income and you are going to have great time understanding what all are the sources of income. So let's go through this beautiful poem. It says, in life's big play, livelihood takes the lead. It is how we earn, how we succeed. From farming fields to bustling streets, different jobs and ways to meet. A farmer plants seed, hopes they'll grow. Harvest demand, dreams, a livelihood to show. Business folk take risks, set to sell. Creating stories like a vibrant rain. In offices where the city hums, jobs are done to different drums. Artists on their own a canvas they paint. Their livelihoods like art they create. Skills in a set like a woman thread. Knowledge and abilities are the path to trade. But in the dance, things are mixed. Social and economic a blend that's fixed. Sustainable livelihoods a goal so dear. Strong, eco-friendly, something to cheer. Education guides a shining light towards a future that's strong and bright. Now let us understand the question answers given here. How does the poem show that different kinds of livelihoods and with different words or pictures? If we see there are a lot of livelihoods which is mentioned, be it a farmer, right? Be it a business work, be it a one uh, the related to activities in the job, be it the artisans, be it the skilled labor, all are contributing to livelihood. Why does the poem talk about sustainable livelihood? Poem is talking about sustainable livelihood because this is creating a, 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 a line which is actually able to cater to the needs and people are uh, are obviously you know, dependent on their skills to create their livelihood. What does it say about the importance of balancing money, people and environment of a good future? The balancing means the sustainable livelihood so that it may not affect the the environment it is you know, eco friendly and it helps in to build a strong and a bright economy. Now let us understand what is livelihood. Livelihood जिससे आप घर पर पैसा लेके आ रहे हो एक means है जिससे लोग अपनी जीवन शैली को चला रहे हैं. It encompasses various activities, jobs or sources of income that individuals or communities rely on or to meet their basic needs such as food, shelter, clothing and other essential expenses. So, what is the source of income is their livelihood. It can be derived from a range of sources including formal employment, self-employment, agriculture, business ownership and other economic activities. The assets, capability, knowledge and skills that individual or household employ to guarantee their financial stability are also included in the definition of livelihood. The concept of livelihood also considers the social, economic Economic and environmental factors that influence a person or community's ability to sustain them economically. Livelihoods are a fundamental aspect of human well-being and it is closely linked to overall quality of life. Sustainable livelihoods are those that are resilient, environmentally sound and provide long-term security for individuals and communities. So, if we talk sustainable livelihood, ki baat kare, to ye environmentally very sound and very long-term security. Not only one individual, but the whole community. Ko. Achieving sustainable livelihood often involves a combination of economic, social and environmental factors that may require access to education, training, capital markets and supportive policy. Now, overall, livelihood is a fundamental aspect of human existence as it allows individuals and families to meet their basic needs, improve their quality of life and contribute to this overall well-being of the society. Now, what could be the sources of income? Where is the money coming from? This is a very broad range of profitable ventures because of which income is being generated. So, if we talk of different sources of income, an individual financial state and plans can be significantly impacted by the composition of the sources of income. Financial Financial security and stability can be attained by diversifying one source of income. Common sources of income would be in uh, business income, investment income, rental income and royalties. Paisa in jagar se aa rahe. Thik hai. Ab occupation kaun si hai? Uh, Yeh jo occupation wala aapka livelihood hai or sources of income hai. It may depend on different things. First is the urban areas. Urban areas mein if we talk we have formal employment available. Yeh jo formal in, employment hota hai. Is mein is tarika ka work arrangement hota hai ki employers or employees ke anta ek structured or organized relationship hota hai. So, what are the things that are in offices, businesses, government agencies and other organized industries such as information technology, banking, medicine and teaching. Now, this type of employment is established through contractual agreement between incorporated companies and individual employees. So, 
प्रॉपर ही बॉन्ड साइन हो रहा है उसमें जो रूल्स हैं वो बताए गए हैं डेवलप इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफन हैव मेनी सेक्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग द एक्सट्रैक्टिव इंडस्ट्री मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विस प्रोविजन ऑपरेटिंग विद इन द फॉर्मल इकोनॉमी इंक्लूडिंग द एनर्जी इंडस्ट्री रिमेंबर दैट द स्पेसिफिक ऑफ फॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट कैन वेरी सिग्निफिकेंटली डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी कंट्री इंडस्ट्री एंड कंट्री एंड कंपनी एंड ऑलवेज कंसल्ट विद लोकल लेबर लॉज एंड रेगुलेशन फॉर द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट एंड अप टू डेट इंफॉर्मेशन हाउ एवर इन डेवलपिंग एंड इमर्जिंग इकोनॉमिक्स इन फॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज मोर प्रेवलेंट हाईलाइटिंग द डिफरेंस इन द लेबर मार्केट अक्रॉस द डिफरेंट एज तो हमने कहा अर्बन अर्बन प्लेसेस में अर्बन प्लेसेस में आपको फॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट ज़्यादा मिलती है बट अगर हम बात करें इनफॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट की तो इनफॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट में मोर देन हाफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लेबर फोर्स आता है ये बेसिकली आपको ज़्यादातर रूरल एरियाज में मिलेगा ये जो इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी है जिसको आई एल ओ इनफॉर्म इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भी बोला जाता है इट इंक्लूड्स अ रेंज ऑफ कंडीशन एंड सर्कमस्टांस इनफॉर्मल लेबरर्स जो होते हैं दे ऑपरेट इंडिपेंडेंटली और एज एम्प्लॉयज ऑफ टाइनी अन इनकॉपरेटेड कंपनीज जो इनफॉर्मल लेबरर्स हैं वो इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑपरेट करते हैं या फिर एम्प्लॉयज ऑफ टाइनी अन इनकॉपरेटेड कंपनीज वाई सम ऑफ दीज कंपनीज आर लीगल कॉपरेशन विदाउट ऑफिशियल एम्प्लॉयमेंट अग्रीमेंट अदर्स फैमिली और रेंटेड फॉर्म वे फैमिली मेम्बर्स परफॉर्म अनपेड लेबर Now, when compared to work in the official sector, informal jobs usually pay less. अगर हम इसे apple to apple compare करेंगे तो जो informal employment है it pays you less compared to the formal employment. Involves poor technical skills और इसमें technology का भी ज़्यादा role नहीं होता है Offer little to no benefits और job security. और job security के नाम पर कुछ नहीं रहता है तो small scale business है household लेबर है street vending है ये informal employment के example है राइट तो इनफॉर्मल एम्प्लॉयमेंट के एग्जांपल क्या है स्मॉल स्केल बिजनेस हाउस होल्ड लेबर और स्मॉल स्ट्रीट वेंडिंग इवन विद दिस इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिसाइसली मेजरिंग द इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी इज स्टिल डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स नेचर नाउ अंडरस्टैंड द रिटेल एंड सर्विस इंडस्ट्री व्हाट इज द रिटेल इंडस्ट्री रिटेल और सर्विस इंडस्ट्री इंटीग्रल पार्ट है हमारी इकोनॉमी की ये बेसिकली केटर करते हैं नीड्स और डिजायर्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर राइट इन द रिटेल इंडस्ट्री गुड्स आर डायरेक्टली सोल्ड टू द कंज्यूमर्स आफ्टर बींग प्रोक्योर फ्रॉम मैनुफैक्चरिंग होल सेलर्स और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तो आपने इसे प्रोक्योर किया मटीरियल मटीरियल प्रोक्योर करने के बाद आपने इसको कंज्यूमर को डायरेक्टली सोल्व किया ये जो सेक्टर है इसके अंदर बहुत सारे बिजनेस आते हैं जैसे सुपर मार्केट है क्लोदिंग है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्टोर हैं डिपार्टमेंटल स्टोर हैं या ऑनलाइन रिटेलर्स जैसे अमेजोन है ऑन दी अदर हैंड जो सर्विस इंडस्ट्री होती है ये प्रोवाइड करती है इनटेंजिबल ऑफन सच एज स्किल्स एक्सपर्टीज और एक्सपीरियंस ये डिफरेंस है सर्विस इंडस्ट्री में अब आते हैं रेस्टोरेंट जो है होटल्स कंसल्टिंग फर्म्स हेल्थ केयर बैंक हेयर सोलेंस ये सब जो है सर्विस सेक्टर का पार्ट है बहुत इंडस्ट्रीज आर रिवाइटल फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ऑफन कोलाबरेटिंग टू एनहेंस कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस ली नो टिबरी सम कंपनीज लाइक एप्पल ऑपरेट इन बोथ सेक्टर कई कंपनी जैसे एप्पल है वो सर्विस सेक्टर में भी डील uh, करती है और रिटेल रिटेल सेक्टर में डील करती है और वो आपको फिजिकल स्टोर भी देती है और आपको टेक्निकल सपोर्ट भी देती है This was about the urban areas. Now let's come to rural areas where the prime source of income is agriculture and farming. जो so, farming है वो इनका vital source of income है क्योंकि इसमें ये लोग क्या करते हैं ए क्रॉप्स की कल्टिवेशन करते हैं रेजिंग ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक प्रोवाइडिंग फूड फाइबर एंड मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स ये जो प्रैक्टिस है क्रॉप फार्मिंग लाइफ स्टॉक फार्मिंग एग्रीकल्चर बी कीपिंग एंड मशरूम फार्मिंग इन सारे में इन चीज़ों में ये सब चीज़ें इन्वॉल्व होती हैं अब एग्रीकल्चर फार्मिंग जो है ये पर्टिकुलरली डेवलपिंग नेशन में आपको मिल जाएगा वो प्राइमरी सोर्स होता है लाइवलाइड का रूरल कम्यूनिटीज़ में राइट एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मिंग ये आपको क्या करता है एक स्टेबल फूड सप्लाई देता है लोकल कम्युनिटी को और पूरे नेशन को जिससे आपको रॉ मटेरियल्स इंडस्ट्रीज के लिए भी मिलता है फार्मिंग की वजह से बहुत सारी एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज क्रिएट होती हैं फार्मर्स के लिए और लेबर के लिए अगर हम स्मॉल स्केल फार्मर्स की बात करें तो ये इनका मेन सोर्स ऑफ इनकम ही होता है बिकॉज सेकेंड वाइल अदर्स यूज इट एज सेकेंडरी सोर्स टू डाइवर्सिफाई द इनकम एवर फार्मर्स फेस चैलेंजेस अब इनको बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस आते हैं कैसे जैसे ट्रांसपोर्टेशन का प्रॉब्लम आता है स्टोरेज आता है मार्केटिंग आता है जिससे उसकी इकोनॉमिक वाइबिलिटी पर इफेक्ट आता है स्ट्रेन आता है फार्मिंग में बहुत सारे और भी रिस्क हैं जैसे वेदर अगर सलीब्रस नहीं है आ, कोई पेस्टिस पेस्ट ने अटैक कर दिया कोई डिजीज जो है स्प्रेड हो गई या मार्केट में कुछ फ्लक्चुएशन आया विद क्लाइमेट चेंज ये और अनसर्टिनिटी ये सारे चैलेंजेस फार्मर्स फेस करते हैं 
ना मॉडर्न फार्मिंग इफ यू टॉक ऑफ कि फार्मर्स को मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी सिखाओ एंड लेट दम कम आउट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम बट मॉडर्न फार्मिंग इज बेसिकली इज रिलायंट ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी right now and genetic modification and automation being indicate integrate into practices ab ye jo technology hai definitely productivity ko to badha denge but iske liye farmers ko substantial investment chahiye ab ye investment kahan se aayega ya inko koi grant mil jaye government se tab fayda hoga to sustainable farming practices jo honge with it helps strive to balance productivity with environmental stewardship techniques such as organic farming agroforestry and permaculture prioritize long term ecological health The viability of farming is significantly influenced by government policies, subsidies, and support programs, which can include aid for specific crops, disaster relief, and agriculture extension services. So, yes, all these facilities are. If government agar provide kare, suppose, koi government ki policy hai, koi subsidy hai, koi support program hai, to isse ye jo hai. फार्मर्स को एक मेजर सपोर्ट मिलेगी ट्रेनिंग एंड एजुकेशन इन मॉडर्न एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस आर क्रूशल फॉर इंप्रूविंग यील रिड्यूसिंग वेस्ट एंड अडॉप्टिंग सस्टेनेबल मेथड अगर उनको ट्रेनिंग मिल जाए तो उससे क्या होगा वेस्ट कम होगा और ग्रोथ ज्यादा होगा कंज्यूमर प्रेफरेंसेस एंड मार्केट ट्रेंड आल्सो प्ले अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन डिटरमिंग क्रॉप चॉइसेस एंड प्रोडक्शन मेथड विद अ ग्रोइंग इंटरेस्ट इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड लोकली सोर्स प्रोड्यूस हम फार्मर्स डाइवर्सिफाई द इनकम बाय प्रोसेसिंग द प्रोड्यूस इनटू वैल्यू एडेड प्रोडक्ट्स इंक्रीजिंग प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी हाउ द फार्मिंग इज नॉट विदाउट चैलेंजेस requires dedication knowledge and substantial investment it is essential to adapt to changing circumstances including technological adv- advancement and evolving market demands उसके अलावा ये लोग कैसे पैसे कमाते हैं एनिमल हस्बैंड्री से जो कि एक वाइटल सोर्स ऑफ इनकम होता है रूरल कम्युनिटीज में इसमें ये ब्रीड कराते हैं एनिमल्स को और उनका ध्यान रखते हैं सो लाइफ चॉक स्पीशीज लाइक कैटल गोस शीप पिग्स एंड पोल्ट्री दे आर रेज ऑफ इन फार्मर्स आर डाइवर्स रेंज ऑफ ऑप्शन बेस्ड ऑन दिस स्पेसिफिक सर्कमस्टांस एंड मार्केट डिमांड दीज एनिमल्स प्रोवाइड इनकम थ्रू मीट मिल्क एग्स वोल लेदर एंड अदर बाई प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर हाईली सॉट आफ्टर इन लोकल एंड ग्लोबल मार्केट्स बैंग इंजिन एंड multiple activities simultaneously such as dairy farming poultry farming and raising small ruminants farmers can diversify their income and they can even stabilize it एनिमल हजबेंड्री से क्या होता है सस्टेनेबिलिटी प्रमोट होती है और जो मार्जिनल लैंड है उसको यूज करके या क्रॉप रेसिड्यूज को एज अ फीड यूज करके भी आप उसको रेस कर सकते हो इसके अलावा बहुत सारी एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज क्रिएट होती हैं स्पेशली रूरल एरियाज में जिसकी कल्चरल ट्रेडिशनल सिग्निफिकेंस है इन कम्युनिटीज में इसके अलावा इंश्योरिंग द हेल्थ एंड वेलफेयर एनिमल्स इज नॉट ओनली इम्पोर्टेंट फ्रॉम एन एथिकल स्टैंड पॉइंट बट क्रोशियल फॉर मैक्सिमाइजिंग प्रोडक्टिविटी तो इससे क्या है अब इसको कैसे वो होगा आप जो एनिमल्स है प्रॉपर न्यूट्रिशन दो पानी साफ दो सही सेल्टर दो उसको वेट केयर दो तो उससे जो है एनिमल्स का जो कंडीशन है कैन बी बेटर सो एनिमल सस्टेनेबल एनिमल हजबेंड्री प्रैक्टिस कैन कंसिडर द इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट ऑन द लाइफ स्टॉक प्रोडक्शन ना दिस इन्वर्स मैनेजिंग मैन्यूर रिड्यूसिंग ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन एंड प्रिजर्विंग द नेचुरल रिसोर्स एडिशनली फार्मर्स एंड एंगेज इन वैल्यू एडिशन बाई प्रोसेसिंग एनिमल प्रोडक्ट्स इन टू चीज योग और प्योर में तो ये और पैसा कमाते हैं इन सब एडिशनल काम करके इससे सिर्फ प्रॉफिट नहीं बढ़ता है पर इसके अलावा उनके सोर्स ऑफ इनकम बढ़ता है तो एनिमल हिजबेंड्री कैन बी सस्टेनेबल सोर्स ऑफ इनकम फॉर रूरल कम्युनिटीज बट इट रिक्वायर्स केयरफुल प्लानिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ऑन गोइंग एजुकेशन टू बी सक्सेसफुल now let's come to another set of category which is a source of income in rural area that is fishing it is there in urban as well but more in rural areas fishing and agriculture fish farming jo hota hai it helps in combating poverty and providing security by diversifying income sources there is limited research on its actual impact on household income in rural areas of india fishing serves rural areas mein fishing serves as significant income generator particularly in regions near rivers lakes ponds and coasts to yahan pe basically ek major source of income fishing hai india boasts a wide range of fishing practices including the marine freshwater and aquaculture marine fishing jo hai it thrives along the extensive coastline while freshwater fishing occurs in rivers lakes and ponds aquaculture involves controlled fish farming fishing not only provides direct employer to fishermen boat operators fish processors ye sab ko bit indirectly ye growth dete hain to rural communities mein especially those along the coast fishing plays a vital role in their local economy offering a stable income source for numerous families moreover fishing activities contribute to poverty alleviation to garibi se bahar aate hain economic dependence nahi hoti hai they help in economic development in coastal and riverine regions ultimately improving the socio economic condition of fishing dependent 
communities. Fishing in India is a diverse industry that relies on the combination of traditional and modern methods. So, purani method bhi chal raha, nai method bhi. Abhi abhi hum fishing mein dekhi techniques like trawling, aquaculture have gained popularity, particularly in coastal areas. Jo women hoti hai na fishing uh, coastal areas mein, ye bahut important hoti hai because ye bahut sare in sab chijo mein contribute karti hai. Be it fish processing, trading, and marketing. Some fishing communities also diversify their income by engaging in complementary activities like crab farming and prawn farming. So, fish uh, fishing wale log sirf sirf fishes ko nahi uh, basically you know, collect karte, they are also involved in crab farming and prawn farming. However, fishing communities face challenges posed by climate change including altered fish migration pattern, rising sea levels and extreme weather events. To ensure the sustainability of fishing, it is crucial to adapt to these changes through sustainable practice, conservation efforts and appropriate policies. So, if we really want this chart to grow positively, then we have to take care of sustainable practices. Now, let's come to local industries and handy Crab, which helps India a lot to help the country to grow. The artisans who are in skilled craftsmanship, they engage in such activities like made, making of pottery, making of earthenware, ceramics. The weavers hote hai, they demonstrate their expertise in, in textile art, producing intricately woven fabrics and garments. The woodcraft and metal work mein kaam karte hai, they help in contributing by uh, making, uh, crafting decorative and functional items, showcasing the artistry and heritage of a community. जो लोकल इंडस्ट्रीज इसके ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है दे हेल्प इन बूस्टिंग द इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज़ दे प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड प्रिजर्व अ कल्चरल हेरिटेज इसके अलावा ये रेवेन्यू भी जनरेट करते हैं और उसके अलावा इट इज एप्रिशिएटेड इट इज बेसिकली the culture which flows down through them. These industries often require इनको लोग क्या चाहिए? एक skilled workforce चाहिए, जैसे artisan है, craftsman है, और इससे क्या इन लोगों को बहुत सारा पैसा मिलता है, because they are involved in creating something which is unique of its own kind. Additionally, engaging in traditional craft not only generates income for artisan, but it contributes to the preservation of cultural heritage. Right? तो इसमें they create many many good thing. I was just watching a video in which a person was selling a shawl and the shawl, the cost of the shawl was 1,50,000 because it had intricate work done on an intricate uh, fabric which is found in a particular area, right? So, this is again a market which is contributing a lot to the economic growth of the country. India's contribution to the world economy through handicraft industry is 1.2% Indian handicraft industry is a $100 billion industry worldwide. This is mainly due to uniqueness of each product and how well it reflects our history, culture, heritage and religion of a country. The demand for locally made crafts from tourists creates a market for artisans to sell their goods at a premium, especially in high tourism areas. If you go to good you know, five stars, seven stars, so there are shops which is actually selling a lot of uh, uh, skilled uh, work done by skilled labors. Now, these two things are very heavily priced and it boosts the tourism, it helps in economic growth of the country. Furthermore, for individuals in rural or economically disadvantaged area, local industries and handicrafts offer a way to diversify the income sources, making families more financially resilient. Now, in this, if we talk of in the if we talk of the international appeal for handicrafts and locally produced goods, it opens opportunities for artisans to tap into export market, potentially leading to increased income. So, ये चीजें बहुत ज़्यादा export भी होती हैं, जिससे income sources बढ़ते हैं. Engaging in local industries and handicraft often requires a certain level of skill. Providing training and skill development programs can enhance the quality of products, making them more competitive in the market. अगर ऐसे skill लोगों को आप कुछ professional training दे दोगे, तो जितना भी एक काम करने हैं, that can actually take a great uh, growth, right? So this not only benefits artisans and craftsmen, but also contributes to the overall economy of the country. Additionally, local industry fosters a sense of community pride and cohesion. When people come together to support these industries, it not only boosts the economy, but also strengthens the community's identity. Moreover, many local industries focus on sustainable practice and eco-friendly materials, appealing to the environmentally conscious consumer. So, our local economy Economically friendly ways be adopt करें कि वो economy uh, uh, I mean eco friendly ways be adopt करें economically तो वो grow कर रहे हैं but they are uh, actually you know taking care of eco friendly ways so that the environment is not uh, I mean the balance is not disrupted then this creates a win win situation by contributing to environmental conservation and attracting the growing market. 
furthermore local industries encourage creativity and innovation leading to development of new products and techniques that can be monetized so local industry jo hai creativity aur innovation ko tap karke nayi products bana rahi hain jisse market ke andar paisa aur aa raha hai this adaptability to changing market trends and consumer preference allows artisan to stay relevant and profitable over time now to fully harness the economic potential of local industries and handicrafts it is crucial for government ngo and local communities to provide support and create in, and create inducive policies initiatives like training program access to markets financial support and promotional campaigns can help individuals and the broader community benefit from these industries now is the service sector services that are provided now the service sector plays a crucial role in the local economy contributing significantly to the growth and development healthcare provides the betterment and well-being of residents with doctor nurses and medical facility working tirelessly to provide quality care educational institution impart knowledge and skills to younger generation preparing them for future success hospitality establishment cater to both residents and tourists offering comfortable accommodations and delicious meal transportation services connect to the larger network of trade and commerce facilitating the movement of goods and people communication services enhance connectivity allowing for seamless information exchange now all this if you are seeing this is provided by the service factory now thriving service sector can contribute to improved standard of living by providing access to high quality healthcare education entertainment and other essential services so aapka standard of living badh sakta hai agar aapko ye sab facilities mil rahi hain however the service sector also faces challenges because of intense competition if you see in, in the communication sectors also now the call rate has declined substantially at times now when when uh, uh, the service sector the communication structure struck i mean sector was flourishing the call rates were really high for an for an outgoing call you were paying 18 rupees 90 paisa while for an incoming call we were paying 9 rupees 90 paisa so which was huge now incoming call is free there were times when incoming call was also chargeable now there's a lot of competition and it is it is getting uh, the competition is getting more tougher day by day the need to adapt to changing consumer preferences and technological advancement and potential vulnerability to automation despite these challenges the service sector remains crucial in providing essential services creating employment opportunities and contributing significantly to the economic growth it is important to note that the prom- uh, the prominence of different service sector can vary depending on the region for instance urban areas tend to have more developed it and professional services sector while the rural areas might rely on agriculture and basic healthcare sectors overall the service sector in india serves as a vital engine of economic growth and income generation to the local level now a locality boost a uh, boast a diff- diverse range of commercial activities that cater to the needs of the resident small scale manufacturing units produce goods like food products textile household item food processing industries play a crucial role in preserving and enhancing the shelf life of agriculture produced various retail shops include grocery stores boutiques and specialty shops cater to daily requirement and personal preferences of the community the combination of livelihood in a locality is a crucial crucial aspect to consider as individuals they are engaged in multiple income generating activities to sustain themselves it is important to note that economic conditions and livelihood patterns can change over time due to factors like technological advancement policy changes and shift in market demand in a specific locality we witness a diverse range of economic activity that create a web of interdependence these activity not only support the livelihood of the resident but also contribute to the overall growth and prosperity of the community each occupation in a locality showcases the talent and dedication of the people reflecting a harmonious blend of tradition and progress this unique combination sustain the sense of a locality cultural heritage now if you see it changes with time for example if you take up any particular place like in india if we just take noida or we take gurugram that was basically a place with huge fields right and uh, slowly steadily when mnc started coming there now this place is inundated and deluged with a lot of uh, mncs and companies giving a lot of income to people there people who rented out these uh, places or who sold off these places to mncs were ever able to fetch in a lot of money and the mnc which are now established there is a great source of income so which has changed over a period of time
Now let's come to question answers. What is the definition of livelihood? Livelihood means the means and resources for making a living. Sustainable livelihood aims to environmentally sound and resilient practices, which is not a common source of income. The rental expenses are not a common source of income. What is the what is the primary characteristic of uh, formal em employment? It is more structured and organized. Informal employment is prevalent. Informal employment is uh, prevalent in it is more than half of the world's labor force, right? The retail industry provides selling goods directly to the consumers. What is the role of fishing in rural activities? It is a great, it is a great significant income generator. Now let's come to two false. Sustainable livelihoods prioritize long-term security for individuals and community. That is true. Informal employment usually involves well-structured organized relationship. No, that is not an informal education. Agriculture and farming are crucial for the economics of most countries, but have no role in providing stable food supply. No, agriculture provides stable food supply. Animal husbandry doesn't contribute to cultural and uh, traditional significance. It contributes to the, uh, the cultural and traditional signification. The service sector is less important in rural areas compared to urban areas. That is true. Local industries and handicrafts cannot be economically viable in international market. They are viable in international market. Then the demand for locally made crafts from tourists does not impact the income. It does impact. Now let's come to the fill in the blanks. The livelihood refers to the means and resources that people use to make a living. Sustainable livelihood prioritizes resilience, environment, soundness and long-term security for individuals and communities. In formal employment, employers and employees have a structured and developed relationship. Fish farming plays a crucial role in combating poverty and food insecurity by diversifying the income sources. Then is the service act sector from, uh, contributes significantly to the growth and development of the local economy. Now, the local industries and handicrafts can help individuals in economically disadvantaged area to diversify their income sources. Economic conditions and livelihood patterns can change over time due to technological advancement, policy changes and shift in the market demand. Now let's come to the brief questions, explain the concept of sustainable livelihood and the factors involved in achieving them. The concept of sustainable livelihood involves the, the, the concept of sustainable livelihood is basically that it is resilient, environmentally sound and it provides long term security for individual and communities. It is dependent on the factors like access to education, training, capital markets and supportive policies. Now let's come to the sex, second question. The second question in brief is differentiate between formal employment and informal employment providing example of each. Formal employment is an employment which is found in urban areas while informal employment is basically seen in the rural areas. If we talk of formal environment, it is a work it is a work arrangement where employers and employees they have a structurized uh, and organized relationship and they may be found in offices, business, government agencies, organized industries, technological banking, medicine, teaching. So this basically is an economy wherein there is a uh, there is a, a amount which is fixed which is carried by a person who is in that particular job but if we talk of informal employment it basically contributes to half of world's labor force which involves a range of conditions circumstances informal laborers may operate independently or they may be working in tiny unincorporated companies now in informal uh, in informal employment if we talk of an example the example could be small scale businesses household labor and street vendors which are the example of informal employment let's come to the next chapter uh, next question sorry this is done this is done what is the role of agriculture and farming in providing livelihood for rural community what are the challenges and the opportunities if we talk of agriculture and farming agriculture and farming is the basic source of income for people living in rural areas which involves the cultivation of the crop the raising of the livestock providing food fiber and medicinal plants now this is a process wherein people are earning their livelihood 
livelihood it is a primary source of income for people now the challenges faced by farmers are uh, um, uh, they are immense they, it can be because of transportation storage and marketing it can also be because of the weather condition pest diseases market fluctuation climate change or that it can be you know, the climate may not be certain right there are few crops which are based on rain so rain is not very fixed way of getting irrigation in the farm so now the these uh, are the factors that are quite challenging for the farmers along with this the modern farming is basically based on great technology now great technology can be incorporated if the farmers are provided proper knowledge proper funds proper training now if the government cooperate and provide them techniques for organic farming agro uh, agroforestry and help them understand the uh, the method to have long term ecological health then definitely they will be able to cater to all the challenges challenges faced by them and one more factor is the the uh, the grants which are received by farmers which can help in building uh, which can help in uh, minimizing minimizing the challenges faced now how does fish farming contribute to combating poverty and food insecurity in rural areas fish farming is also very important in rural areas because it help combat poverty and food insecurity because all the people living close to the coastal areas use this method to actually help their families to survive and this is a major source of life livelihood describe the significance of local industries and handicraft in boosting economic development and preserving cultural heritage so local industries and handicrafts which involve a lot of people who are skilled in arts like weaving uh, carpentry or other intricate embroidery they help in giving livelihood to these people this is not only helping them to you know, boost their livelihood now these items are basically exported also so it adds as an income generator and it also reflects to our cultural heritage which is actually valued in the national and the international market briefly explain the role of service sector in the local economy and list down the challenge service sector has a great role in the economy because service sector be it the transportation be it the communication be it the retail shop they play a greater role in helping create the source of income and helping provide livelihood to a lot of pro uh, people helping provide a lot of job opportunities but challenges they face are immense because of the immense competition now let's come to question number e first question is what is the impact of technological advancement on small scale farmers in rural areas considering both benefits and challenge proposed strategy for a balanced approach in terms of technological advancement which helps in modern farming is really crucial for a farmer's grow to have a great harvest and have good supply of income supporting a greater better life now this is only possible the challenge they face is that this involves a lot of steady supply of of uh, methodologies and training and then a lot of money is required in it so if this is to be practiced in case the government help the farmers with all the knowledge and the tools then the farmers can definitely rely on modern technologies to create eco-friendly organic farming which can definitely help everybody in the chain now explore the economic impact of local industries and handicrafts on a community how do these industries contribute to employment cultural preservation and revenue generation if we talk of the local if we talk of these uh, local industries and handicrafts artisans with skilled craftsmanship engage in activities like pottery creating beautiful earthenware and ceramics weaving industries or it can be woodcraft and metalwork they actually help showcase the artistry and heritage of a of a country now they play a great role in boosting the economic development by providing a lot of employment opportunities and preserving the cultural heritage now this is not only sold in the national market it is also sold in the international market providing a boom to our economy and it helps in fetch a lot of money from the international market also so it tap into ex export market potentially leading to increased income so this has a great role in passing on our cultural preservation and it is a source of revenue generation 
So this was all about the chapter second. I hope you enjoyed learning about different sources of income and how do they contribute to the economic growth of a country. Happy learning.